Let's think back to the definition of a circle. So a circle is the locus of points that's equidistant from a given point. So if we have this red point over here and we wanted to find all the points that are fixed distance away from this red point, we would end up with a circle. I want you to imagine a different scenario though where we have this <clears throat> grid of, of city blocks. Uh, you, you can imagine this to be like New York City where maybe these up and down uh, spaces are the streets and the side to sides are the avenues, something like that, right? And um, let me create a couple of points here that I had this point over here. And let's say that this is where I lived at the corner of these two streets here. And I want you to imagine that I released a crow from the red point here where I live and told the crow to fly to where you lived over here at the corner of these two streets. And the crow, being a smart crow, uh, so uh, the crow would just fly like this. From here, it just goes zoo, like that, okay? And that is why that is known as the crow's fly distance because that is the distance, that is the minimum amount of distance that it takes from go to here to here. And that pretty much corresponds uh to this other thing we were looking at which is you know if you wanted to go from here to a certain distance you know how would you do it it would be like a circle so here you can see it's going to be a straight line from the red point to the blue point and that is known as the crow's fly distance now if i was going to drive from the red point to the blue point would i cover the same amount of distance no it's going to be more because you can see i've got these city blocks here so to go here I might, for example, go up here and then turn that way, or I could take more of a zigzag pattern like that, maybe something like that, right? So these distances here are known as taxi cab distances. Let me give you another example. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this red point here for a second. Let's look at this blue point right here. Let's say that you got into a cab and let's just say that the cab driver agreed to charge you based on how many blocks you were going to drive in, it, be taken as a passenger in the cab instead of the crow's fly distance or the driving distance. Let's say they, they said, okay, depending on how many city blocks you wanna go, that's how much I'll charge you. And let's say further that um, you wanted to drive three city blocks, three city blocks. Now, let's look over here at this point right over here. You can see that that is three blocks away. So here the cab drives one block, two block, three blocks. You see that, right? So uh, let me make another copy of this point here. And you can see that right here is one example of three blocks away. Another example is right here. This is also three blocks away. That is another example of a point that's three blocks away. And here is another example of a distance that is three blocks away. And there's another one here, there. But those are not the only examples. Looking on here, can you see another location that would be three city blocks away? What do you think, Mr. Lovedev? What do you think, sir? Okay, right one up two, so right here, for example. So let's mark that spot for a second. You can see that that's another space. You could go over one and up two. And likewise, there would be another spot here, 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 and here. So what happens is these are known as taxi cab distances because you're basically measuring in the number of blocks that you've traveled. And the important thing to understand here is that when you have a locus of points, that are the same taxi cab distance away from some other point. For example, this, let me give it a different color here. So here, if I'm trying to plot all the taxi cab distances that are three blocks away from the red point, instead of getting a circle like this, what do I get? I get a diamond. See that? I get a diamond. Now, this diamond is well illustrated in the problem statement where now x is unfortunately a bad choice you, they should have used p or something like that but imagine that x is a is a xy coordinate of some point right 
This could be like three, five, or it could be the origin, like zero, zero, or it could be like minus four, seven, something like that. And then you wanted to calculate all the points that were, let's say, four taxi cab distances away from this point right here. Where would that be? That would be these points here, right? These points here, these points here, and these points here. So you can see that the locus of points that are the same taxi cab distance away from some center point here is the shape of a diamond instead of the shape of a circle, okay? Now, what we're going to do right now is a little programming exercise. I want you to imagine here, let's make up a point here. Let's say that this point right here was at uh, 3, 5. Okay, so let's say that the coordinates of this point in the center right here happens to be 3, 5. And let's say that I wanted to calculate all the points that were a distance of 4 away from this point. Now remember, I'm not doing I'm not doing the the circle thing now because I'm doing taxi cab distances. So one, I think, what would be the coordinates of this point here if this point was three five, three? I'll get my act together in a second here. Okay, that point is three nine, and this is going to be four eight. Four eight. And then this point over here is going to be uh, five seven, I think, like that, okay? And then this point over here is going to be six, six, like that, okay? So you can see now that I've calculated this particular diagonal here. Now you're going to see there are going to be four of those, right? There's going to be this one, this one, this one, and this one. What I want you to do this is the programming exercise for today, is I want you to write a for loop for me right now, either on paper or on the computer, and I want you to calculate, given a point x, y, which is the starting point, and a distance d, right? So a point is gonna be something, something, like that, and a distance d, like that. I want you to calculate using a loop, listen to me, I, I just wanna do this diagonal up here, look, 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 just this diagonal. Don't worry about the other three. I'm only interested in this diagonal. I'm going to start here. And look, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to go down to here because that's part of the next diagonal. So here there would be actually four points, these four. Okay? So I want you to calculate, use a for loop now to calculate these points given a, a, a starting point x, y, and a distance d. Okay? So calculate the... Uh, a for loop for that. Please do that now. And I'll get you started. Here you go. Four. Okay, then you then the next part you do. All right. So we're gonna put some stuff in there. And we're going to say that we have a set of points here. So we'll say um, uh, set point uh, locus, right? Equals new hash set point like that right and what we want to do here let me make this a little bit bigger so maybe you can see it easier there you go and uh, what we want to do is we want to calculate the points that are on this top right diagonal here like this is the, what i gave you up here was an example okay no, because that's going to be part of the next diagonal, okay? So it includes this point, this point, this point, this point, but doesn't include that point because that's going to be a different calculation that we're going to do. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Stops, you seem to be finished. Go ahead, sir. I equals zero, yeah. I is less than D. I like it so far. Plus, plus I, you said? Okay. Hold on one second. And so we're, we're going to do is we're going to add to our locus of points each point that we come up with, okay? So we're going to go locus, add, okay? New point, right? Hold on one second. I'm going to try to make some more room here, okay? And now what should the new x-coordinate be? 
And now all you have to do is figure out what all these other ones are. And I'd like you to do that now.